would you actually advocate as kind of, you know, moving the chess pieces around to make sure that the UK does a good deal at the moment? Do you need to get along with the EU or do you just need to be tough? Well, I think the main onus is definitely on the UK. Um, we're the ones who've come off worse over the last year of, um, since our new government was formed, since, our, um, uh, since the Brexit process yeah. started a few months ago. Um, and what we need more than anything is to sort ourselves out, get a united position. Um, and it has to be a united position around what makes sense for business and the long-term interests of the country. So for me, that means going along broadly with the line which is being advocated by our Chancellor of the Exchequer, by our yep. um, Finance uh, Minister. Um, and that, I think, would lead to a more sensible approach than the one we've got at the moment. So, Ambassador, you don't think actually that the UK has a unified position because Theresa May, the Prime Minister, went out of her way to do, the, to do this speech in Florence where she actually laid out the vision. And for me, the vision was pretty clear. Well, it, it, it was united to an extent. Obviously, the, the Cabinet backed that speech in Florence, but Florence didn't answer all the questions. And it certainly didn't transform the negotiating dynamic in the, uh, in the rest of Europe. I, I don't think it could possibly have done so, because there were so many unanswered questions left over. Um, so we have to be much clearer about uh, the money. We have to be much more um, willing to accept that the transition and the length of time needed to create our new relationship with the EU is going to take much longer than um, the rest of this negotiation and a short transition period. Um, we need to flip our whole way of thinking away from jettisoning our relationship with the EU in favour of this fabled and mythical set of future trade deals mm -hmm. to a world in which the core of our trading and economic relationship mm -hmm. remains Europe, because that's where we are, and that's where 70% of our trade... But what does that mean, a customs union? Uh, to me, it means being as close as possible to the sort of deal um, that Norway and the other close, uh, countries which have the closest economic relationship to the European Union uh, actually has. Um, and I would, in the early years at least, certainly prioritise standing still, keeping, keeping what we've got and moving slowly to a new right. arrangement rather than jettisoning everything and hoping for the best, which is really what some of our politicians are still hoping for. But would that also include paying money into the EU? And, and if yes, and what was the point of Brexit? Um, the, well, I, don't, I didn't vote for Brexit. The point of Brexit was clearly a number of different things for, for different people. Um, clearly, we're not going to be paying as much into the EU um, as uh, uh, connected with it, as having good trade access to it, as we are as, as, we are as full members. The Prime Minister has already said during a transition period, plainly we're going to be paying our dues. Um, we've got to be because we're essentially on a standstill arrangement at that point. For the future, if we're participating in research arrangements, if we're participating in uh, education, if we're participating in parts of the economic relationship, then like Norway, like Switzerland, we're going to have to pay for a part of that. But it'll be at lesser levels than, 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 than before. The 